Hello, and welcome to episode 3 of Let's Play Noctis. Uh, I'm just uh, hanging out on top of my Star Drifter watching the gas planet, or the cloudy planet that we left off at yesterday pass through and eclipse the planet. Um, yeah, I can see that there's a hazy halo around it. That's an atmosphere for sure. And you'll see the lighting change as it passes through the planet here, or the sun here. And that blue, that's the true color of my Star Drifter. This pinkish hue here is more or less um, uh, because of the light. And again, this is a DOS game with limited color palettes. So uh, it's interesting that it actually uh, had... Uh, well, the developer actually thought about, you know, doing all these things. Um, that impacted the game. So let's move around here again. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go down to my ship. So. Let's set local target. Is this the third planet or the second planet? Okay, the first moon of the third planet is a Solid, dusty, craterized, no atmosphere. So we've been passing up a lot of these craterized planets, so why not... Uh, let's travel to one of these and have a look. Oh, this is a nice view here because you can actually see in the background that's the third planet right there and here's the moon and it's actually within sight so you if I pop up here you can actually see oh, you can actually see the planet in the background there and a star and the moon at the same time that's one of those few instances where it's actually kind of quite nice and it, it's not too far that it's turned into a dot yet it's uh, just you know, large enough that you can still see the features of the uh, star. You can see that black band there in the middle. And there's our dusty, creased planet, or craterized planet. Okay, so let's uh, let's go in, go in for a landing here. Uh, surface. I want to land into one of these crater craters and see if we can uh, see some features that aren't flat. We'll see. I think the game makes it so that darker spots are more uh, has more valleys and such. So I'm gonna land at the edge of the crater here. Yeah, let's try landing there. Okay. Uh, you can always readjust later uh, and enter. Do I need to hit enter while standing here? There we go. I can't see the sun. Am I on the night side? I thought this was the light side. I'll have to check when I get back up. It's only 0.2 gravity, and it's minus 268 degrees Celsius. Almost no pressure. So it only has a very, very thin atmosphere.
Oh, I'm playing a new MIDI file today as well. It's called Deep Space Darkness. Uh, I found a suite of Noctis music that someone composed back in 2002. And um, I'm just picking uh, interesting soundtracks from it. I'm going to take off my visor so I can see it better. Okay, let's head out. Oh, if I can stop bouncing around, I would head out. dark. Oh, there's the sun. Really not much to see here. back up. Set local target two three. Oh, this, so this planet only has one moon, so we'll go to planet four and let's have a look. What is this? Solid, dusty, craterized, no atmosphere. Well, let's have a look, anyways.
swing by the star. There it is. Oh, there's two planets right here. So which one is which? Oh, this has to be the one that I'm orbiting, and that has to be its moon. That's an interesting uh, combination of planets. I actually don't see these very often. To see two so close by with a star in view. So I want to see if I can take a picture of all three together. And you can see here the uh, moon is traveling retrograde because it's uh, orbiting this planet. Not We're not orbiting it. So we might not be able to get all three in the same frame. Uh, here's our planet coming by again. There's a star. There's the... Oh, just about. I'm going to take a picture. Got a couple of pictures, I think that's good enough. So let's try here. Tab out here real quick, checking something. Oh, um, I, while I was watching my video, I noticed that I made uh, a lot of spelling errors in my last entry for Tabnasia. So I've actually gone in, deleted those entries, and re entered them. Um, just so, well, there aren't so many spelling errors. But right now, I'm just going to see if I can make it so that I land quicker, because I've been playing around with the DOSBox settings. I think I've maxed out everything that I can. Um, this, uh, I'm just using a Nocta CE guide, so some of the commands here obviously don't work. But the ones, I'm hoping that some of them do work. Surface capsule. Hmm. It says I can press Z or Z to land the craft, but I don't know if that actually works because I've actually been doing that already. Uh, let's see. Let's set local one four. Oh, well, we know that at least we know we know there's a planet 14, so let's clear that for now. What I actually wanted to go was one. Slash four, and that was a small solid. Yeah, we know that no atmosphere or thin atmosphere. Uh, let's clear that again. Eight two four. Okay, so this one is also two rocky planets. So we'll try planet five. planet solid thick atmosphere fully covered by clouds so it's going to be like planet 3 and this is quite fur further out it's 20 diams away from from my current location so I'm hoping there are more uh, moons oh I just flew by the Sun there that was interesting here we go 
Does he have any moons? That local target one five. Nope, no moons for this one. So we'll try planet six. This is even further out, 37 diams from my current location. So, and it's a small, solid, thin atmosphere. Let's uh, go, go ahead and go. Just gonna watch the sun move again. It's always a lot of fun. And actually, this planet is right. I'm going to swing past the sun right again. And the sun's behind me now. And the planet's coming up. Oh, actually, you can see that the sun has reduced greatly in size as we move further and further out of the system. This one has anything that we want. Okay, let's set a local target. This is planet six, right? Yeah. Is there a moon for this planet? No moon. So we'll try planet seven. 39 diameter, so it's even further out. So we'll uh, try it again. We'll target, and then we'll pop up and watch us move. Although I realize some of these planets may not be aligned perfectly in a line, so some of the sometimes I probably have to swing past um, the sun again because it's on the other side of the star. So some of these distances may be slightly exaggerated just because of where their orbits are. Um, Craterized atmosphere. Okay, planet 7 is not really all that interesting. One seven, no moon. So we'll try. Oh wait, we were right at number seven, so we'll clear that. Clear local target. Set local target. Line at eight. Again, no atmosphere. Go there. This is 90 diams. This is quite a distance away. I'm just gonna watch that star move. Oh, we're gonna swing past. So obviously, this is on the opposite side of the star. But it is getting further and further away. You can see here that it's now like a little dot. There is our planet. It looks like this one has a moon. Um, couple of moons, at least. Creased rocky. Okay. Uh, let's try one eight. Hit right there. Unstable surface. I wonder if we can go and land there. Let's try. Start trying to approach. So this one is internally hot, and it's not a dead planet. It's medium-sized. This version might not might not allow me to land on the planet.
impossible, yeah, so it won't let me land on the surface. Three eight. It's trendy. Okay, so this one only has two moons. We'll go to planet nine from outer space. Okay. Start approach. Gonna zoom up here. Goodbye, planets. Also, you know that all these stars here, these are not for show. Every single dot I can go to. Actually, look at that star. It's slowly fading away. It's, I'm pretty far out now. So far out that actually it's... The, uh, the light has faded. This, is this a gas giant? Covered with cloud, dense clouds. This has to be a gas giant. Okay. Uh, oh, is that local? One nine. Thin atmosphere, small, solid. We'll clear. We'll, we don't want to go there. Icy surface. Well, that's something new. Let's let's travel there. Start find approach. This one looks like it has a lot of moons. I can see there's several dots, and there's even a ring around it. Okay, let's try this. Uh, let's... Oh, we can't land on this. Why? Unless I went to the wrong planet. I thought it said icy surface size. Internally hot, unstable. 2 9. Okay, well, let's uh, set local. Is, was it 1 9 that had the icy surface? Now that was a thin atmosphere, solid. We'll cancel that. Set local. 2 9. Internally hot, okay. That was a weird bug there. I th I'm pretty sure I saw icy surface. We'll clear local target again. Uh, set local target. 3, 9. Oh, okay. It was the third planet. Our third moon of planet. Let's travel there. to look at. You can see here for planets with no atmosphere the, uh, the delineation between light and dark is very clear. For ones with an atmosphere you'll actually see a gradient as it goes to darkness. So they even thought about that in terms of the details. So again, I want to land in a dark spot. I think those tend to be the most interesting features-wise. So let's land here. And I guess it's very dark out here because there's no, almost no sunlight. Take off my visor. Oh, it's so dark that I can't see my um, my control panels. So this is what why this is useful. Changing the color of my... Uh... Yeah, I can't see anything here. The 
I've, and I have this turned up max. I can see my coordinates is barely minus one zero. This is very alien. It's look like a vector graphics planet. Very weird. I I can say I haven't been in a planet this dark in a long time. Can I even see the star from here? I'm in a soup. There's floating stuff. And I can't see the stars. I can barely see my star drifter. <laughs> wow. jetpack to fly above the uh, horizon here. Jeez, that's, that is trippy. Just black. I think I want to go back up. This, this planet's hard to explore. Starters. It's very dark. Okay, let's have a look. Maybe we'll have another a purple planet with this fourth moon of the ninth planet. Oh. It's supposed to be white and icy, but we'll see. Am I on the dark side or the light? Maybe I should land. Did I land on a dark side by accident? I wasn't pretty sure I didn't. Okay, let's move this. Okay, let's land on the light side for sure. This is a little bit better than last time. Appropriate soundtrack too, I right? just very moody and creepy. This one has 0.796 gravity. 
0.17 or 15 pressure. Okay, looks like I'm coming in for a landing here. Minus 268 degrees. It's just flat ice. I think that dot there is a star. bouncing around. Okay. Yeah, that has to be the pl either the planet or the star, I can't tell. It has to be the star. Okay, it's just nothing. Probably just flat. South is our capsule if we could just keep heading north. I want to see if we can zone to the next sector. We're at 22960 right now. If I keep traveling in this direction, I should be able to zone. And to go back, I, should, I just head south. So this is a bit of a gamble. Traveling, traveling. Will this let me zone out? Not sure if this, maybe this one won't let me do it. Yeah, it looks like I'm just hitting the wall at the edge of the sector here. It won't let me do it. So the other Noctis, the CE version, will actually let me do that. Um, I'll zone into the next sector. So I guess this, the original version, won't. I just need to head straight south, and I should be able to find my uh, landing site. Here we go. Ooh, stop, 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 stop. Okay, that's uh, gonna head it back to the surface or to the spaceship. Well, this planet or this system is a little bit of a disappointment because if all the planets are so cold, uh, I don't expect to see uh, any kind of Felician planets further out. It'll just be more icy and rocky planets, and there's like 10 more planets to explore at least. I know there's at least 19 planets in this system. But who knows? Maybe I'll be surprised. Let's try five nine, and I'm just gonna start skipping moons, obviously that are not interesting to me. Icy surface, no atmosphere. Okay, we're gonna skip that. Six nine, icy surface, no atmosphere. Skipping that. Seven nine, yeah, skipping that. Eight nine. Skipping that. These are just all ice balls. Nine nine, nothing. Okay, we're skipping that. Ten nine. Nope. Eleven nine. Twelve nine. Nope. Thirteen nine. Nope. Well, this is getting boring.
I think I just went to 17.9 by accident, but we'll just go there. That's the last planet, of, or the last moon of the ninth planet. So we'll go the, to the tenth planet. Let's see if surface is mainly native quartz, oxygen atmosphere. Well, at least it's something different. Let's go, let's go there. 321 diams out, so this is even further out than the uh, last planet. Can I even see the star from here? That's the star is right there. Just a dot. Actually, an interesting view is I'm, I'm going to go all the way to the edge of the system and I'm going to travel back to this, uh, the first planet of the system and we'll, oh, I'm swinging by the star. It's finally a little light. Uh, yeah, I'm going to tra travel all the way to the edge and then come back in and watch the star grow and grow and grow. It's a long trip. Very long trip. Here's our quartz planet. Uh, okay. Does he have a moon? No moons on this planet, so we'll go to planet 11. This one has some moons. It's a ring planet. Small, solid, thin atmosphere. Okay, let's try 111. No atmosphere, icy surface, cancel that, 211, nope, oh wait, it just changed, solid, no, not that interesting to me. Okay, this one has two moons, uh, we're going to the 12th planet. Another quartz planet, oxygen atmosphere, medium size. It's really far out, this one, or probably on the other side of the star system. Probably gonna swing by the sun again, because it's, you can see here, the two reticules, one is the star with the dot, the other one is the planet I'm going to. So I'm guessing I'm gonna swing by the star as I travel to the opposite side. It's over a thousand diams away, if I look, remember correctly. You can see the star field slowly shifting as I'm traveling. Yep, there's a star getting closer for a bit before fading away. Uh, warmth. It's only minus 268 degrees. Bye. Back into 
called space. Still traveling. This is a long trip. So Ifrit, this Ifrit star system, I'm thinking, has no life, no habitable planets. Still going. Let's kind of pop down here and see. 100 dimes out. I'm still 100 dimes out. And look at that. The star now is a dot. It's not even a big dot. It's just a dot. Well, this one has some moons, but I don't think I want to explore any of them. Oh, some of them look like they have interesting colors, though. Okay, I'm going to go down here. This is a quartz planet, if I remember correctly. Yeah, okay, so let's try... Uh, 1, 12. Internally hot, unstable surface. Well, I can't even land on that one. Uh, cancel. 2, 12. Also unstable, no atmosphere. Um, cancel. 312. Icy surface, solid, small. 412. Nope, moons. Okay, we're going to planet 13. Native quartz, another quartz planet. I'm actually spending a lot of fuel just traveling in this system and down to 109 grams of lithium. Still a lot, but this is also another long trip. I think I have to swing by the star again, I wonder, because here's a star, there's the planet I'm going to. It's over a thousand diams away. I like how the I don't just go from zero to a hundred with the speed I slowly ramp up and I'm you can see here the distance slightly now closing really faster.
while we're traveling, I'll show you my entry for Tavnasia. Uh, let's see here. My revise entry for Tavnasia. Cat Tav. I might have to go back to that planet we found just to explore something different. Okay, so. New star system with four protoplanets. 18th moon of fourth planet supports life. And I just added my discovery date. So epoch discovered by Dexter, epoch, and that's the date in game. And then I put in the Earth date. traveling. Looks like I'm barely moving, but you have to think that about the speed I'm traveling. I basically travel 0.04 light years in about five minutes. I might just uh, run through the remaining planets and see if there's anyone interesting and then move on to the next star system. Because we're so far out now that I don't think we'll see any planets that has life on it. Even moons aren't likely to support life. Okay, we're finally close. Planet 13. This one has a lot of moons, I can tell. Okay, I'm just gonna run through, um, run through all the moons and see if there's anything interesting. I'm not even going to try to go there, just another thousand diam trip. Uh, changing this to planet 15. Covered with, what's this? Dense cloud. Okay, this is a large, okay, this is a gas giant. 15. Uh, let's see here. Planet. 16. 2,000 diams. This is a long trip. It's really far out. Creased, no atmosphere. Yeah. And I think that might be the last planet. Let's see here. Planet 17. Oh, there is a planet 17. Then, no atmosphere. Cancel that. Planet 18. Substellar object. Not consistent. So this is like a brown dwarf. Might be an interesting travel, but it's over 8,000 dimes away. Be a long trip. But because this, this substellar object will have heat, 
I wonder if uh, some of the planets around it might support life. So it might be worth traveling to. Okay, I'm going to travel there, uh, but I'm going to pause the recording so you're not just watching me looking at nothing for 10 minutes. So let's uh, let's try. Okay, I'll, I'm going to pause the recording. I'll, I'll be right back. All right, uh, we're back. Um, bad news is I canceled the travel because I went away for 10 minutes and I came back and I'm still like, I was still like 6,000 whatever away and I don't think um, I want to go out that far. Um, I also realized when I stopped the uh, drive that I've used up quite a bit of fuel just doing it. I There must be a way to travel within the system to use the light speed engine, but I haven't figured that out yet. Um, doing the local planetary travel, it just takes too long to go that far out. So I've traveled back close to the star again. I'm going to make an entry for Ifrit. Uh, and this is simply going to be what I've found so far. So cast. Ifrit, um, red giant star, multiple planets, uh, no sign of habitable planets. Discovered. I'm just going to put today's date. Five eight eight point three hundred. And then I'm going to add one more line. This will be the June nineteen twenty sixteen Earth time. All right, so we've got effort done. Um, I think we want to go to that uh, habitable planet that we discovered, uh, New Horizon, just so we have something to look at. And I've been wanting to do something with that planet. I know we only like spent maybe 15 minutes on it, traveling to two spots. There's probably more places we can visit. So that will be for the next episode, but this episode pretty much had us um, running through exploring the Ifrit star system. I might come back to check out that 18th planet. Um, well, let me put that in the note here. 18th planet is a substellar object. 18th planet is substellar object. And I'll probably come back to that at some point. Um, okay, thank you very much uh, for watching, and I will see you next time.